Hi man, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, under the administration of the immediately retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, diapers and sanitary pads were zero rated when it comes to taxing. No tax was put on these items. But now, in the 2024 finance bill, Ruto's administration targeted the diapers and sanitary pads. The one removed from zero rated to exempted taxes. Zero rated to exemplary taxes. That means they want to put some amount of tax on these sanitary pads. The issue of eco levy. Because under William Ruto, there is something they were tar targeting to make sure that they collect as more as they can. So they moved on to tax the goods that affect the environment. Eco levy, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, People rejected this finance bill. It even forced William Ruto to fire the entire cabinet, Akabaki Namdavad. Then later, he got some experts, we are told by Raila Odinga from ODM side, to come and help William Ruto. Surprisingly, the people we were told that there are experts to come and solve this problem are the ones who want these taxes back. John Bad is CS for finance. As you are speaking now, I have told you they want to remove sanitary parts and eh, they pass from zero rated to exempted taxes. Eco Levy is here. It is back. And you know people who are being targeted here? We have the babies. We have the sick people in the hospital. We have the young girls. Kuna wengine wanaishi na disability wanaitaji tu. These are the people that Ruto is targeting in this move. And John Bad is the one who has been put forward to push for this. So they are coming to tax the babies. When you have any, you know, babies. They are coming to tax the sick and the young girls of a problem to get these diapers. That's where we are as of now. John Bad did not vote to support the finance bill. But imagine the same man is here to implement the same finance bill. So what was the meaning of him voting against this finance bill? And now he's here supporting the finance bill through the implementation of 2024 finance bill using a backdoor. I know we are starting deliberations and discussions around the finance bill 2024. As one of your experts, one of the members of the Economic Council of Azimio, the whole of tomorrow I will take my time to do proper analysis on this bill and give a report to the Azimio coalition. I have already seen preliminarily that it is a bad bill that is going to hurt our people and we need to reject and resist it with all the might and strength that we have. Now, Mbadi told us that finance bill is bad, is going to affect our people. We need to resist, resist it with the, all the powers that we have. That was, <laughs> you heard him, not me. 
This man is here implementing that which he told us is bad. Tutamuamini aje. Should we trust him and his leadership at the treasury? Is he genuinely advising Ruto accordingly? Or is a yes man? Tumefika hapo. Now we are going to this particular like discussion, but I have a humble request. I've been running a program here to try and help a church to raise funds in order for them to complete their new church construction. Uh, these people have been in a muddy structure for quite some time, 20 years. So they have been trying to get out of that as they try to construct a new modern church. So they started from the foundation, then they reached somewhere near there, uh, almost to the lintel, but they had not fixed the lintel, the beams around it. So I personally went there to help them fix the uh, lintel and leave that job. Now the structure is good. But they still have a problem. I also went one more step to get them 150 frames as requested by the fund. So they have all the frames that they require to do the roofing. But the problem is that they don't have iron sheets to completely roof the church. And they don't have money. It might take them a very long time for them to get that amount. They need about 75 pieces of iron sheets to roof this church. So my own grandmother, who is actually... It's eight years as a member of this church. She asked me, why can't you speak to your friends to help us to roof this church? Because I see we have a problem and we might not manage it as quick as we thought. So I told her, okay, where we could on Gaya and how they are good people. If they are in a position to help, I'm sure they will do so. So can you listen to her request and if you're in a position, you can help. Hi guys, now today I'm here with my grandmother and uh, I've been visiting their church. She has been really requesting me to try and help so that they can finish the construction of this church. Kuna vile wamekwama. So, leo, nikasema ntakuja ni muambia wange na nyinyi ili na nyinyi pia msikie kama muneza guzwa pia muasaidie ili waweza kuweka roofing kwa hii kanisa. Tumejaribu sana, nimejaribu tumeweka, nimejaribu kuweka linde ile kwa and pia tumeenda tu pia tukapata frames na nyenye nataka fix but they don't have iron sheets na hawana pia milango na madirisha. So ningependa pia yao wasalimie, awaambie majina yake, alafu pia waambie mwenyewe. Unaweza kufanya. Aitwa Enis Tehema. Na huyu ni mchukuu wangu. Mwambia aongee na nyinyi marafiki yake kutusaidia kanisa kujenga na mapato. Hakuna mapato. Kama mtusaidia tutaomba Mungu amfariki. Now for those who are in a position to help you can kindly send in your contribution to the following number 0708340092. The name is Charles in Google, that's my number. We have been able to get about uh, 48,000 Kenyan shillings. And I want to thank each and everyone who has sent in their contribution. And by the time I'm recording this video, I've seen uh, Philip. You have sent in your contribution. Thank you so much. I had mentioned the uh, other people in the previous video. So let us keep on doing so. They will need about 75 to 80,000 to get this number of iron sheets and fix the roof. So with 48,000, with 200 there, we are almost there. We are less by 22,000. 22, Imagine with 22, we can help them to completely deal with this issue. Now, thank you so much and back to our discussion. Now, I think the people that Raila Odinga told us that they are experts who can help William Ruto to manage this economy without necessarily oppressing the Kenyans, we can confirm to you today that they are not experts. They are misleaders and they are Mr. Yes, 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 simple. What John Bad told the people 
in Mount in in Nyanza region. In fact, the people who speak same dialect with him is not what he's doing when he was offered the position. Instead, they are bringing back the 2024 finance bill through a back door. They are forcing it on our neck. They were just buying time. A government that focuses on taxing sick people should not be anywhere. Should never exist. A man who focuses on taxing babies. He should not be the president. A man who focuses on taxing young girls should not be in state house. But this is where we are. Serikali ambaye haina aibu ya kupea, ya, you know, ya kupiga ushuru watu wagonjwa kwa hospital. In fact, they should be supplying for free. For free. But they are here. Eco tax. Wange dini na hizi eco tax ngini zote na warusu. Sama bado tu, wanarusu zibiza zikuwe kwa, zikuwe kwa, they are in the market. So, whether tax or not, they will be in the market. Just allow these ones. Because they are here for the most needy people, babies, sick people, young girls who do not have money. So, tunahelekea wapi? Kwa serikali ya mwishimua William Ruto, tunahelekea wapi? Huu ni wongozi wa inagani. I have seen people saying that they have to reintroduce, and now I want to agree with the support member of parliament, Caleb Hamis, that Ruto should be impeached. Gen Z should find a way of pushing for this, that we are coming for you in your homes. So that you let that on what we want and how we want it, not the way you want it. You have to represent us, represent our views, our cry, our suffering, our situation. Not your own views. So our views is that sanitary parts and diapers should not be taxed. But they will not listen. So, in the entirety, the 2024 finance bill is going to be implemented. Badi was set up and now he's here. If he's a truthful person, he should face root of the truth. Or to keep his image clean, resign. If you're advising someone who's not ready to take your advice, why should you work for him? Resign. Then you keep your dignity. You go there and be with the people. So for them, what I can tell you is that they focus on safeguarding their salary, but not our interest. Personal interest comes first before people's interest. They don't represent us.